Happy hump day, all you weather geeks out there in eastern Ohio and western Pennsylvania. Welcome back to Weather for Weather Geeks, the original Weather Geek online show you may have seen yesterday. And I was, of course, just kidding. But uh, the Weather Channel is launching a, a weekly show, I believe, this weekend uh, called Weather Geeks. <laughs> and I was just kidding yesterday when I said, oh, they're copying me. You know, or I kind of hinted. Of course, they're not doing that. But I, I found it kind of funny and ironic that their show is going to be called Weather Geeks. Well, this is our own little version of that where we get a little in-depth in the uh, in the weather. And uh, this is kind of a free-form video if you're new to this. I do one of these uh, each and every weekday afternoon that I work. Occasionally, we'll do one in the morning, the weekend, depending on what the weather is doing. And it kind of gives you behind-the-scenes look uh, at some of the stuff I'm looking at before I go on TV with your forecast every day. A lot of the stuff I'm going to show you and show you every day is is stuff that I'm looking at as I prepare your forecast. All right, this afternoon, just as advertised, it is cool for July. Considering our average high is 82, we're a good 14 shy of that right now, 68 degrees in Youngstown. And as I have been advertising for a couple of days, there are a few showers out there. These earlier were primarily up in Ashtabula County, Geauga County, parts of northern Trumbull County. And as I record this at about 2 p.m., the shower activity has migrated over to Mercer County. There's no lightning with this, but a little quick little shower uh, from just east of Hermitage over towards the borough of Mercer. So watch out for that here in the 2 o'clock hour. Everyone's fair game to see at least a sprinkle. Before the day is through, five-minute shower a possibility in a few spots. That'll be the exception. Most of us won't see this, but some backyards will get a quick little shower or even just uh, enough droplets of water on your windshield that you might have to flip on the wipers once or twice. Of course, the culprit, the reason why we have this going on, is a big, big trough of low pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Let me bring up the, uh, the uh, upper-level heights here, uh, showing our big dip in the jet stream. Right here, you can easily pick it out. There's an upper level low up over Hudson Bay and a big trough of low pressure. This is a pattern that is much more typical of the kind of early to mid fall season rather than the dead of summer. Uh, this is kind of like having a real warm spell in the middle of January. So it's the opposite of that. We're in the middle of summer, hottest part of the year, and we've got unusually cool air around. And with all of that cool air upstairs in the atmosphere, we had some sunshine earlier. It was kind of what we like to call self-destructive sunshine where you get some sun, but the more sun you get, the more unstable the lower levels of the atmosphere become, the more clouds form. Uh, and uh, so it's definitely turning a little cloudier in much of the area this afternoon than it was this morning. And it, it'll look like it wants to rain some places again, sprinkle or a shower, but a lot of us, it'll just kind of look like it wants to rain, but actually won't. Check out the temperatures uh, across the region this afternoon. Take off the satellite. You know, it's cool everywhere. Uh, hardly a 70 to be found. You have to head all the way down into southern Ohio. Uh, Pittsburgh is around 70 at this hour, but very few 70s. Most of us are in the 60s this afternoon. Of course, dew points are very low for the middle of summer. Dew points are in the you know, upper 40s, lower 50s. Really, really cool stuff. And with these low dew points and at least a partially clear sky tonight, probably not totally clear, but a partially clear, it's going to be another cool night. We'll get well down into the 50s. Can't even rule out a few upper 40s showing up. Uh, for the rest of the day today, or I'm sorry, for uh, tonight, that is, uh, for overnight lows. All right, real quickly, wanted to show you the uh, latest high-resolution uh, rapid refresh model here to show you what the radar should look like for the rest of the day. This will probably be a little overdone, as it has a tendency to be. I'm going to fast forward here in a couple of hours to 4 o'clock. Again, don't take this verbatim. It's not going to be exactly great, but it shows these little specks that will probably try to be on the radar, sprinkle or a shower or two. And as is typical in this kind of situation, these will be most common during the daylight hours. Fast forwarding a couple of hours to 6 o'clock, not much going on. You know, sprinkle, shower. Once we lose the daylight, these will fade away pretty quickly. Here's 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock this evening. They are gone, and we will have a tranquil night coming up for tonight. All right, so uh, what's going to happen after that? Here's a look at Thursday's setup. Uh, the red dashed lines here, that's the upper level uh, pattern, kind of like I just showed you on the other source. As you can see, there's definitely still some troughiness, some dips here. So it's another day where the atmosphere will be kind of unstable tomorrow. That's going to prevent it from being bright and sunny tomorrow. It'll be partly sunny on average, but with the atmosphere being modestly unstable, you know, clouds will have no trouble forming. Uh, I can't even totally 100% rule out a sprinkle again tomorrow, especially in the morning hours. Again, exception, not the rule. Most of us won't see that. The black lines here, that's the surface pressure, and we've got an uh, area of high pressure at the surface of the atmosphere trying to build in from the west, and I do think that'll build in for tomorrow night. Tomorrow night has the best chance of being totally clear out of the next couple of nights, so actually our coolest night in most backyards maybe tomorrow night 
heading into Friday morning. I think that's our best shot at seeing, you know, some stray 45, 46 degree readings in those coolest nooks and crannies. Uh, so I doubt any records fall at the Youngstown Warren Airport where the official weather records for the region are kept. But in some backyards, especially in low lying areas, you know, I wouldn't be shocked to see a 45 or 46 Friday morning. We'll head into the weekend then. Uh, Saturday's been up for debate for a couple of days. Earlier, we thought it might rain any time. Now it looks like if it's going to try to do something, it's probably in the afternoon and evening, and this won't be much. This is a pretty piddling little surge of moisture. It will be more humid on Saturday, but the atmosphere probably has a hard time squeezing out much more than a stray shower or a thunderstorm. Looks like kind of a 30% chance kind of a day on Saturday. Same idea Sunday. Uh, 30, perhaps 40% chance of a shower or a thunderstorm. Classic summertime Real, real hit or miss stuff over the weekend. Don't cancel any outdoor plans. It's going to be a pretty typical summer weekend coming up. Warm, humid, some sun. Might have to duck inside once or twice with scattered storms. And then next week, uh, no barn burners here. It doesn't look like any sort of severe weather threat for most of next week. It looks like classic summertime weather coming up for next week. Let's uh, compare and contrast what the uh, atmosphere will be doing now compared to a week from now. Here's the pattern right now. There's our big dip in the jet stream right here. There's a ridge off the west coast out here. This is now, here's a week from now. Notice the pattern is really changing over the next week. Big ridge will be building out here in the western U.S. It's not going to be centered over the east, so it's not going to be a real, real, real hot week next week. But some of the warm air that's going to build out here will get the green light to come east. So, you know, we're going to be talking some, you know, some pretty warm weather and some humidity for next week. Here's the 16-day temperature forecast on the latest GFS Ensemble model. Just a model here, so, you know, again, don't take this as the gospel. But overall, we, we are looking for trends here. Dates are down at the bottom. Here's late next week, around the, uh, oh, the 22nd, 23rd. Uh, that would be, uh, you know, second half of next week. Uh, so basically a week from now, you know, might be flirting with 90 if this model has the right idea, and it kind of jives with some of the other models. So uh, do we see 90 next week? Too, a little too early to say, but our chances are certainly higher of seeing 90 next week as opposed to, to this week, which is, uh, again, we're in the middle of a, a little cool snap here. All right, so that's weather for Weather Geeks on this Wednesday. I'll see you tonight on the news, 21 News at 6 and 11. Another Weather for Weather Geeks posted on my weather blog, ericwfmj.com, with links on my Facebook page. Put meteorologist in front of my name to find me on Facebook. And uh, I always link it on my Twitter account as well. I'm Eric WFMJ on Twitter. So that's where you can find this video each and every afternoon, and we will see you tomorrow for another Weather for Weather Geeks.